if these walls could talk, the Detroit Catholic Central Wrestling Room is a museum of tradition and lore for a program that's continuing to have success at the state and national levels. Impressive to outsiders for sure, but even those who basically live in here get caught up in the awe. No one was in here, lights were off, and I just looked around. Looked at all the pictures and everything and just thought about the legacy that's in here. The 2018 legacy already well on its way with the team's state title in hand. So this group is already special in the eyes of their head coach. The brotherhood uh, that they, they embrace is, is pretty special. Uh, you come watch them before practice, they get along, they're playing games, they're joking with each other. And I, I think that competition also thrives because of that. These guys are always pushing each other to be a little bit better. One, two, three, six, six. This team, certainly interesting. All 14 of these kids going into the individual state championships this weekend at Ford Field believe they can win it, making a clean sweep for the Shamrocks, not out of the realm of pop. There and give each wrestler that we're entering a, a chance to win a title. Like when I see one of the other wrestlers, one of my training partners, go out on the mat and kill it, I want to go and kill it. The same thing happened last year. We had 14, we went in, and it was fun. And I think this is going to be the best one yet. The individual finals kick off this Friday in Detroit with the Shamrocks, Justin Rose, 7 Action Sports.